All right, we're back. Um, let me just move something over here a little bit closer, get a little bit better lighting here. All right, we're back with our sand. We're going to finish up the um, the hat first. I don't like the way the hat looks. All right, we're going to take care of that tassel a little bit better too. So, we'll be at this for a little bit. You see the crack there, but there's not much I can do about that right now. All right, so we're going to take the, do another stop cut. We're going to follow this all the way through. Don't forget if you're um, beginning, especially if you're a beginner, to put on your glove and your thumb guard. All right, and then I'm going to take the tip of the knife and I'm just going to trim all that out. And tomorrow is a William Rush show, so I've got to get ready for that. I've got a few things I need to get ready and put in the car. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to think about it this week, so I'm going to try to wing it a little bit. I'm not as prepared as I would like to be, but um, sometimes that's just the way it goes. You can't always... Um, And I'm just going to trim this down. That's a little bit too big. Plus, it's a little bit of a split. So I'm going to go back around it a little bit and chop it off. You can always do things round. Just make it like a dowel first and then come back and you know, cut off the corners. That's how I do anything that's rounded. And of course we're going to heck of a big tassel on the top of his head, but we'll get it trimmed up a little bit more. Like I said, there's nothing written in stone on how this should be. And um, we're just going to take the tip of the knife and we're going to take that hard edge off. Put like a huge V cut between the hat and the brim of the hat. Uh, my favorite holiday is, is Thanksgiving and I'm trying to think of a neat idea to do for that. Uh, I know a lot of people prefer the Christmas stuff and it will be here before you know it folks. So if you're planning to do anything for gifts, uh, now's a good time to start. I really start carving for Christmas stuff all throughout the year especially with the shows that I go to and you know the stuff isn't made overnight a lot of times you know it takes a couple of days especially for the bigger pieces I mean a couple of days on my free time you know when I find the time that I can carve you know every time I think a snowstorm is going to come I have to get the stuff ready to go ahead and uh, you know get things ready but that's what we want and then I'm going to take the hard edge off here and round that th thing up a little bit more okay, and that's more like a Santa hat to me this thing's way too big yet but you can always trim that down a little later I'll probably do that on my own time I'm gonna get rid of that saw mark all right so uh, we've got that done now we've got to put the beard in a little bit so we're gonna do this and make a little bit of a cheek there I have it going down and up and around there just like that I see there's some markings you can usually see it if you hit the light right on your piece you'll see the rough spots yet I will look a little bit funny, but he'll be all right. Something different. A lot of things are similar, but they're still a little bit different. 
and up a little bit of a lip there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. What I want to do is I just want to take this beard and go up and around here like this. You're going to go to the top part of the beard or the cheek, I'm sorry, and go down into the beard. Alright, just like that. See? We're going to put eyes in him so we'll do a whole segment on that. Um, you know, I kind of have my way, of, everybody has their own way of doing eyes and things like that. So, you know, what I do might be a little different than what you might see other people do. Um, and that's where you learn, you know, you learn what you like to do and you'll get your style of carving. Trust me, you will get your own style of carving. Even though you might carve the same thing as what I'm carving here, yours will look similar but very, very different. And I found that to be so true when I did a class. It was so neat to see. Some people had them skinnier. Some people had beards longer. Uh, but it looked, you could tell it was my Santa that I taught. But it, everybody has their own style. You know, so it made, made it fun. It does make it a tremendous, uh, it makes it a lot of fun as a teacher to see that. You know, and as an instructor. That folks are developing their own own style even though it's your your pattern and all and I'm encouraging you if you can send me your pictures of your finished products I'd love to see it so just send me an email I told that you that months and months ago I do get a few here and there and and uh, I thank folks that that send that along the way um, we're gonna round off this nose a little bit Get them a little bit on the cuter side than that pointy thing. Okay. And we're going to kind of dig that out there on that side of the nose. And then just round it off a little bit. Uh, I use a, uh, a Rough Rider knife uh, that I revamped. Um, I, I know some of you have asked me where to get my basswood and where to get things. And as I go through this tape, I will try to answer some of those questions here. Um, okay, so right here, where the beard uh, and the mustache and the nose meet, I like it a little bit deeper right there. See how, see how the little bit of depth makes it look so much nicer. Okay, folks, we'll be right back to continue. Okay. <laughs> 